You get personalized help now. They know who you are. They're using your search data. I know they've been saying they're going to use your search data. And you got to believe them. You know why you got to believe them? Because, well, they are Google and they have access to everything you've ever done. And you don't think they're going to use it for their benefit for their products? Of course they are. Hi, my name is Dimitri Panici, and I'm a content creator, agency owner, and AI enthusiast. You're listening to the AI Agents Podcast, brought to you by Jotform, and featuring our very own CEO and founder, Ida Kintank. This is the show where artificial intelligence meets innovation, productivity, and the tools shaping the future of work. Enjoy the show. What in the heck is happening with AI? That's right. You get personalized help now. They know who you are. They're using your search data. I know they've been saying they're going to use your search data. And you got to believe them. You know why you got to believe them? Because, well, they are Google and they have access to everything you've ever done. And you don't think they're going to use it for their benefit for their products? Of course they are. Now, this isn't some weird thing, honestly. I was expecting this for months now because I thought if you're going to have search history, you're going to have preferences, you're going to have all this data, what AI product is better poised to help you out than Google, which has all of your search history forever. As you can see, you need Ad- Ad- Gemini Advanced in order to use this. So I did obviously look into it. It costs $20 a month to get it. And you can use it on the web now, and you can use it on mobile gradually. It's going to be rolling out. Um, it's available in over 45 languages and in the majority of countries around the world, excluding European economic area, Switzerland, and the UK. Not really quite sure why the UK wouldn't be included in here. That's kind of weird, but it is what it is. I'm in the US, I can use it. What are some of the key components of it and how can it transform your AI experience? Well, first, it's gonna have personalized help based on your search history. So you can get highly relevant suggestions for vacation spots, project ideas, and more when Gemini can reference your search history, all powered by Gemini 2.0, flash, thinking model, experimental. You're in control of your info and can easily disconnect Gemini from your search history. Okay, so I'm gonna go into Gemini and you'll see it has personalization. You just gotta click on that. By the way, everything is new in Gemini. (laughs) None of them are unnew. So it asks you, can I connect Gemini apps with your search history? For sure, you can do that. Okay, so I'm gonna ask, uh, what would you recommend for a consistent coffee shop rotation for my work schedule? as a self-employed person in Chicago. Let's see, I'm curious. Give me some good info. Oh, dang, that's actually accurate. I do go to Big Shoulders. And they go, okay. I've I've been to that location a fair amount of times. That's kind of creepy. Um, I have been to Indel- Intelligentsia a fair amount of times. Now this isn't by where I live, so don't get any ideas, but I have been to these coffee shops. So that's that's not creepy at all. Location, location, location. Mm. Okay, what coffee shops are open nearly all day so I can actually work there for a full work day? It's got some human sounding things, by the way. It says just a sec. It says location, 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 atmosphere preference. Pretty good writing, by the way. I, I do think that this is good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Big Shoulders does have good hours. Intelligentsia does have good hours. I've never been to Cafe Jumping Bean, so that's good. For those of you from Chicago, you know Big Shoulders and Intelligentsia and Collectivo, probably. Interesting. I like this. Google search found similar context. Content like this. Okay. That's intriguing. All right. So we are using personalization for personal stuff, obviously. So that's number one. You could use it for finding suggestions for things that you've looked into. Uh, What about some other things? Let's see. Ask Gemini to remember what matters to you. Ask Gemini to remember what matters to you for more helpful. Okay, so how would that work? That's number one on the list. Number two is doing the following. Can, can you keep in mind that I'm a big fan of Dollop Coffee, Big Shoulders Coffee, and Starbucks for working locations? Okay, so I told it to keep it in mind, Uptown. Okay, so I want to actually know, can you give me suggestions for the Loop and Gold Coast area of Chicago and even Michigan Ave? All of these things are decently close to me. Once again, don't stalk me. It's a big city, I know, but... A quick search indicates that previously mentioned uptown location is not in the Loop of the Gold Coast. Yeah, I know. All of these options are pretty good. Yep, Nima's in the Loop. I know that one. I do not like how they changed their hours. They changed it, literally, this is not an exaggeration, from 7 a.m. 
slash 8 a.m. to 7 at night to 7 to 2. It must not be able to find people who can work there. Weird. All right, what about Starbucks in those areas? That is reliable. A lot of options. Ooh, 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. Mm, that's a pretty good hours. Remember that the State and Adams, the Clark and Lake, and the Chase Tower are all options that I want to work at. Dang, that's pretty good. I like this. This is great. Appreciate it. It's going to remember that for the future. Let's go into another chat and see if it doesn't work. So what is a great spot for me to work at coffee shop wise for a Starbucks? Let's see if it doesn't remember what I just talked to it about. It claims that it remembers things. Okay, so it didn't understand my question. I'm only asking for Starbucks locations. I didn't, I didn't, I literally said Starbucks, did I? Aren't you Google? Okay, a couple things. Doesn't have my actual address. This is not accurate. I ain't a Starbucks zero miles from me. I'm actually in one of the weird dead spots in Chicago that doesn't have a Starbucks. Where do you think I live? Anyway, that's good. It doesn't know for the internet purposes. But it doesn't seem to do what it's saying on the whole ask Gemini to remember what matters to you. No, that doesn't work. Bring past chats to the conversation. Ask Gemini to consider your past chats to craft its responses. So maybe if I refresh, um, can you look at my previous chats with you to give me better suggestions? Because I don't really think it's doing it. No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, it did fine. Okay, look at this. It said, so this is number three on the list. Allegedly, you can look back on previous conversation where you can comfortably work and you might be open to options just beyond Starbucks. Okay. Interesting. So it does look at previous conversations. That's great. What are my other favorite locations based on previous convos? This is going to matter. If, if it manages to get the whole dollop bit, no. What about dollop and big shoulders? Do you recall what suggestions you gave me previously? Oh. Nah, that's not right. Okay, I'll be honest. It's not great. It's not great. I'm going to try one more time to see if I can say, can you remember for future convos that the Gold Coast, Dollop, Big Sh and Big Shoulders are frequented for me? Okay, so let's, let's try to add a new chat and then even refresh, give it the options. Okay. Cool. I'm using, I'm using the new options. Okay. We got a new chat refresh. Okay. What are my favorite coffee shop options in the gold coast? Okay. It says big shoulders and dollop, but that's not, I, I'm trying to say based on our previous convos, what are my favorite coffee shops in Chicago in the gold coast? Come on, man. You're gonna claim that this is the best thing ever? All right, good, I figured it out. But I have to be, you have to be specific, that's kind of annoying. So I have to be specific about it doing a great job knowing me. I don't think this is very good. They're needing to work on this. Um, let's see what other cl big claims they got, okay? Because this says seamless conversations every time. How about no? Can you give me, this is number four apparently on the list, it can give me summaries. Can you give me summaries of what my preferences are based on previous conversations for coffee shops and their hours and environment, etc. I want a summary. Give it to me. Okay, it does focus on work and extended hours. Okay, thank you. It is starting to learn. Maybe it didn't have enough info, but honestly, I thought if it had no info, I gave it a little bit, it would be able to remember the one thing I told it. So forgive me. Um, but Maybe it's training itself on learning me. I'm not sure. To start off, pretty bad experience. Slightly better when I learn how to prompt it right. Okay, so it can give you summaries. Okay, so let, let me try one more thing. I'm gonna give it more info. Okay, let's try this. Um, I often attend services at either St. John Cantius in the West Town or Annunciation Cathedral. No, I'm not doing that. That's too personal. I'm gonna make one up. That's really good. Okay, watch this. I attend services sometimes in the West Town 
and sometimes in the Gold Coast for church. What are some nice burger spots I could have there? I'm a big fan of Small Cheval. Huge fan of Small Cheval. I don't know if you guys have had that. You've In Chicago, have Small Cheval. Very good burger spot. Small Cheval, Bucktown. You know what? There's one in Gold Coast. I'm kind of disappointed you don't know that there's one in there. The burger bar is good. We do like burger bar. Okay. Um, what are some good pizza places in those areas as well? Mm, I think I've actually eaten at some of these. Uh, can you remember for the future that I love Giordano's, Small Cheval, McDonald's, uh, Eduardo's, and Noteca? All right, cool. Now, what I want to do is try to craft a day, right? So I want to craft the perfect working session, day long date with my girlfriend. Could you, based on the previous conversations we've had here on Gemini, with my food preferences, give me a date plan in the Gold Coast that includes coffee shops I like and two food spots, one for dinner and one for lunch. Also, I'm a fan of ice cream from Jenny's, so factor that in. Let's see how it works. So this is all personal stuff. Obviously for business, you can do the same stuff, but I don't know. I'm feeling like this is fine. Okay, morning start, coffee and a sweet treat. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I don't feel like, I feel like it got cut off. Let me try this again. I don't really, I wanna, I don't really like, this is not really working well. This is failing, I gotta restart the chat. I hate when stuff like that happens. All right, let's try this again. Oh no, it's doing that thing. Let's try to reset it, let's try to reset it. All right, cool, let's see. Sometimes AI just fails. All right, I give it a lot of context. Honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed. I gave it a bunch of context, told it exactly what I liked. Can you actually factor in the food and coffee shop preferences I've given you in previous conversations? Can I remind you, the whole point of this product is that you know. Uh, I mean, coffee shops like Dollop, there is a Dollop in the Gold Coast. Okay, so this is officially bad. Now. Decent, oh, no, 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 man, how does it not know that I'm in Chicago? I've been talking about this. Can you remember that I'm in Chicago for future conversations? Now let's try it again, because it didn't know that I was in Chicago. God, that's depressing. I only talked about Chicago for the last 10, 20 minutes, whatever this is. It's ridiculous. Okay, oh, so it just needed to remember that I was in Chicago. I told you that it was in Chicago. <laughs> also, who starts work at 10 a.m.? <laughs> what do I look like? A lightweight? What is this? What do I look like? A what do I, what do I look like? Someone who doesn't work? 10 a.m. Okay, so this this actually worked better this time. Now that it knows I'm in Chicago, it thought I was talking about Gold Coast, Australia. I mean, I know that's a thing, but like, uh... <laughs> oh goodness. So you really got to give it a lot of context to teams. Um, you have to tell it to remember things. That's the, the moral of the story. If you tell it to remember things and you consist, you tell it your life story, I guess it'll then remember. Um, that's not a good thing, though, that it didn't pick up the context of like, oh, yeah, by the way, he's definitely in Chicago because that's where he, he says he lives in that area. He's asking for recommendations in that area. He probably lives there. I guess I needed to be specific. I don't know. I'm not really sure how I feel about this. Probably like a six out of ten. Good idea. Still working on the execution. Using Gemini Flash, which I'm still not too sold on. It's got decent writing style and personalization, but hilariously underperforming <laughs> on the context side of things. Um, yeah, let's let's just say for all intents and purposes, pretty good, but not great. Uh, other recommendations for it would definitely be give it more context as to what uh, your business is about if you're using it for that. Saving time on personal research is good. It could be like an advanced Google for recommendations, but paying 20 bucks a month for that, I feel like it's not really worth it, to be honest, if it's gonna perform like that. So 
enjoy it. Try it out if you have Gemini Advanced. I don't know who pays for that. I mean, I do because I make videos about it for the internet, but anyone do does anyone actually pay for that? Please leave a comment down below letting me know and leave a review on Apple Podcasts, letting us know your thoughts on everything. Thank you so much for watching this episode and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.